back to Grant Us Peace ASMR. I'm so excited for tonight's video. So if you're watching this video around the time that it's being published, it's 2022, it's a new year, which can be um, very exciting and very scary at the same time. And so why I'm excited about this video is because I um, sort of happened upon um, the, the content that I'm going to be sharing. So I've been sort of going through um, the diary of Saint Faustina, Divine Mercy in My Soul, because I'm hoping to make um, a video later on, on this diary. Um, but as I was reading, she has a an entry um, from New Year's Eve 1934 and I just really wanted to share it with you guys and to sort of incorporate her prayers into our lives and our prayers and sort of just start this year off on the right foot which I know it's already like two weeks <laughs> into the year by the time this uh, this video will be going up, but better late than never. So, here we go. Okay, so in the first notebook of her diary, um, in paragraph 355, Saint Faustina wrote, New Year's Eve, I was given permission not to go to sleep, but rather pray in the chapel. One of the sisters had asked me to offer an hour of adoration for her. I said yes and prayed for her for an hour. During the hour, God gave me to understand how very pleasing this soul was to him. I offered the second hour of adoration for the conversion of sinners and I tried especially to offer expiation to God for the insults that were being committed against him at this present moment. How greatly God is being offended. I offered the third hour for my spiritual director. I fervently prayed for a light for him in a particular matter. Finally, the clock struck twelve, the last hour of the year. I finished it in the name of the Holy Trinity, and I also started the first hour of the new year in the name of the Holy Trinity. I asked each of the three persons to bless me, and with great confidence looked toward the new year, which certainly would not be sparing suffering. So, after this section, St. Faustina then goes into this beautiful litany to the Blessed Host, but before we get to that, um, I sort of want to go back and take each prayer that she says and apply it to our own lives here. So, um, she says that one of the sisters had asked uh, her to offer an hour of adoration for her. So first she prayed for someone that had asked her to pray for her. So let's go ahead and start by praying for all the people who have asked us to pray for them. Uh, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, dear Lord, thank you for this time that we get to spend with you. We come to you with humble hearts and ask that you bless those who have asked us to pray for them. They are in need of your love and comfort and guidance and support and wisdom and peace and 
all of the wonderful blessings that you give to those you love. So, dear Lord, please just ask that you keep in mind all those people who have asked for our intercession. So then, the second hour of adoration she uses for the conversion of sinners, as well as to, let's see how she offer expiation to God for the insults that were being committed against him at this present moment. So, first, let us say a prayer for all sinners. Dear Lord Jesus, we are all sinners on this earth, and we are all in need of your divine and bottomless mercy. And so we ask, Lord, that you rain down mercy on us, on repentant and unrepentant sinners alike, and help guide us back to your loving heart, and help us to remember that your law is love, and as we embark into this new year, that you will help us remember to keep returning to you, to gather our strength from you, we will follow where you lead us this year, no matter where that is. And Lord, all of us together as one, say we are so sorry for all of the insults that you have to bear every single day. <sighs> Father, you sent your son down who experienced an excruciating death he did that all for love of us. And so we ask for amends and ask for forgiveness for all of the atrocities committed in your name and all of the insults and just terrible things that people do either in your name or in spite of your name. And you, Jesus, we are so sorry for every time that we have offended you ourselves. So, in her third hour of prayer, Saint Faustina offered that to her spiritual director. So, now I would like to pray for all priests, deacons, ministers, pastors, all of those wonderful people who work tirelessly every day to lead us closer and closer to God. It is a very difficult and often lonely task, especially for our priests. So, dear Lord, we offer up our prayers for our pastors, those who you have called to guide us, the sheep, to you. They need our support. They need our love. They need your strength and your wisdom and fortitude. And so, please, dear Lord, bless them. Bless them this year. So, finally, um, St. Faustina finishes the last hour of the year in the name of the Holy Trinity, and then started the next hour of the, the the first hour of the next year, also in the name of the Holy Trinity, and she asked all three of the persons in the Trinity to bless her. So let's go ahead and do that now. Dear Father, please bless us this year. Be Dear Holy Lord Jesus, our Savior, bless us this year, pour out your divine mercy onto us, help us to remember your sacred heart and the love that you have for us, and help us to remember that whenever we ask for forgiveness, we're forgiven. And Holy Spirit, third member of the Holy 
Trinity. Guide us, give us your wisdom, bless us, fill us with the peace that surpasses all understanding. Then St. Faustina writes, with great confidence, looked toward the new year, which certainly would not be sparing of suffering. So I had a lot of interesting feelings as we approached 2022. Um, I was thinking about how I felt when we approached 2020 and we didn't know what was ahead of us at that time and it was exciting because there was a new decade coming filled with, um, <laughs> we didn't know at the time. and course then everything happened and so then in December when we approached 2021 I felt so relieved and excited to start a new year and for us 2021 had blessings in it and it had some disappointments too but um, so when we were approaching 2022 I had these mixed feelings of um, some excitement, but also some fear to let 2021 go because because 2020 was so crazy and scary and wild and I felt such peace when 2021 came uh, even though there wasn't necessarily a reason to think that I, I don't know what the future holds um, but I was afraid to let it go because it felt like stepping into the unknown again. But in reading St. Faustina's diary, she was such a blessed person and she had so many visions of of Jesus and, and our Blessed Mother. Um, but she still bore so much suffering, but she bore it so beautifully. She would always, always say, if this is the Lord's will, then then this is this is good. This is this is what I need to be going through. And every time she felt distant from God, even though even though she had seen Jesus' face, she still went through these trials and kept receiving the sacraments, kept praying, and God rewarded her with those wonderful feelings of joy, joy in the spirit, joy that can only come from God. And so we shouldn't be afraid of suffering because um, if God's allowing that suffering, then it means he's going to bring about a greater good with it. And I know that that's so scary because we don't know what the future holds. We don't know what our suffering is, but we do know so many holy men and women have come before us and have suffered and are there praying for us. In fact, right now, let's say, St. Faustina, pray for us. Oh, pray that we can bear suffering like you, that we can allow God to use us however he wills so that we can help others, we can better ourselves, and we can ultimately reach our final beautiful reward of true communion with him in heaven. And so on that note, let's go ahead and read the Litany to the Blessed Host that St. Faustina recorded in her diary. Oh, Blessed Host, in whom is contained. Just
Ghost. In him is contained the mercy of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit towards us, and especially toward poor sinners. O oh, blessed host, in him is contained the infinite price of mercy, which will compensate for all our debts, and especially those of poor sinners. O oh, blessed host, especially for poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom is contained the fire of purest love, which blazes forth from the bosom of the Eternal Father, as from an abyss of infinite mercy for us, and especially for poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom is contained the medicine, especially for poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom is contained the union between God and us through his infinite mercy for us, and especially for poor sinners. O blessed host, in whom are contained all the sentiments of the most sweet heart of Jesus toward us, and especially poor sinners. O blessed host, our only hope in all the sufferings and adversities of Blessed host, our only hope in the midst of darkness and of storms within and without. O oh, blessed host, our only hope in life and at the hour of our death. O oh, blessed host, our only hope in the midst of adversities and floods of despair. O oh, blessed host, our only hope in the midst of falsehood and treason. O oh, blessed host, our only hope in the midst of the darkness and godlessness which inundate the earth. O oh, blessed host, our only hope in the longing and pain in which no one will understand us. O oh, blessed host, our only hope in the toil and monotony of everyday life. O oh, blessed host, our only hope amid the ruin of our hopes and endeavors. O oh, blessed host, our only hope in the midst of the ravages of the enemy and the effort Blessed host, I trust in you when the burdens are beyond my strength and I find my efforts are fruitless. O oh, blessed host, I trust in you when storms toss my heart about and my fearful spirit tends to despair. O oh, blessed host, I trust in you when my heart is about to tremble and mortal sweat moistens my brow. O oh, blessed host, I trust in you when everything conspires against me and black despair creeps into my soul. O oh, blessed host, I trust in you when my eyes will begin to grow dim to all temporal things, and for the first time my spirit will behold unknown worlds. O oh, blessed host, I trust in you when my tasks will be beyond my strength, and my adversity will become my daily lot. O oh, blessed host, I trust in you when the practice of virtue will appear difficult for me, and my nature will grow rebellious. Blessed host, I trust in you when hostile blows will be aimed against me. O oh, blessed host, I trust in you when my toils and efforts will be misjudged by others. O oh, blessed host, I trust in you when your judgments will resound over me. It is then that I will trust in the sea of your mercy. And then she wrote, Most holy trinity, I trust in your infinite mercy. God is my father, and so I, his child, have every claim to his divine heart. And the greater the darkness, the more complete our trust should be. I do not understand how it is possible not to trust in him who can do all things. With him, everything. Without him, nothing. He is Lord. He will not allow those who have placed all their trust in him to be put to shame. Jesus, I trust in you. Words from St. Faustina, words given to her from Jesus for the portrait of divine mercy. Jesus, I trust in you. 
let's make that our prayer for 2022. Jesus, I trust in you. Whatever comes, whatever sufferings come, and there will be sufferings, Jesus, I trust in you. Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved, thank you so much for spending this time in prayer with me. Of course, I am praying for a blessed 2022 for you and your family and all your loved ones. And as for right now, I hope you have a blessed night. And may God, the God of mercy, 